Hey everybody, what's going on? So you're here at Soy's Game Central and today we are here with Road. Now, if you don't know who Road are, Road are the men behind the most amazingest sound quality microphones, studio arms, you name it. They are the ones who provide you every podcast that you see, you will see a Rode mic. They are top notch quality, top of the line, phenomenal. Make sure you check them out. But yeah, they sent us a big box. So why don't we dive in and see what's inside. Let's go. So as you have just seen, the first thing we opened was the NT-USB Mini, which is a professional studio quality USB microphone that many streamers have used. Now, looking at this, it looks amazing, to be honest. The box, the artwork on it looks great. Let's dive in anyway, open it up and see what is inside. So you've obviously got your manual, quick guide set up, a few other things about the safety and whatnot. So, first things first, you have a nice road USB. Comes with a connectivity button. Quite long, I'd say, roughly around a meter. Looking great. Next thing, we have cleaning substances. Can't go anywhere about it. Then at the bottom, we have the one and only amazing microphone. Look at that, hey? That looks amazing. So at the back, you can see you have a headphone jack and a USB jack. You have the gain on the front to change it and filter it. Obviously a stand, which will connect to many mounts. Also have a stand that comes with it, which is located at the bottom of the box. Here, as you can see, is the little mount. So we will first of all connect it. Oh, it's a magnet. <laughs> so it's magnetically connected, as you can see, watch. Boom, oh, you press door. And again, very, very easy is that. And obviously you can tilt it and whatnot, you can have it to you. Closer, talking, everything. But that is not the only thing that Rode have sent us. They have also sent us one of their new PSA One Plus Studio Mic Professional Arms, which we're going to attach the NT-USB Mini to. So let's just get that out and have a look. So, 
here we have it the PSA one plus boom amazing and again artwork on the box looks great uh, everything else looks amazing easy positioning parallel movement low noise operation that's what we love and need clamp on desk insert obviously we all use a desk don't we clamp fantastic right let's dive straight into the box and see how we go so first things first we have a nice little letter so this says hello brandon aka sawyer if you didn't know first up i want to say thank you on behalf of road microphones we really appreciate working with you and our products wouldn't be what they are without your passion and input well thank you very much guys we really appreciate this housed in the special packaging in the next level in professional studio boom arms the psa one plus the psa one plus is a premium professional studio studio arm for anyone needing to place their mic in the perfect spot and keep it stable the innovative design means ultra smooth movement and peerless stability no matter the angle the psa one plus is also compatible with any microphone shock mount using a standard thread weighing between 94 grams and 1.2 kg so please bear that in mind in what you're going to want to put on the mount with fully damped internal springs, rubber contact points, any microphone attached will be fully isolated from your desk or table, meaning you won't pick up any resonant noise from keyboards, mouse. So that means you tap on the table, your keyboard away, whatever, it's not going to pick it up. Perfect. The neoprene protective sleeve, aside from looking pretty, has integrated cable management. Oh, just what I need. To keep your XLR or USB cables neat and tidy. Well, we appreciate that. We hope you enjoy using your new accessory from Rode, and if you need any more information, head to rod.com PSA1 hyphen plus. Right. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate and get in touch. Thanks again for your support, and we're thrilled to celebrate content creators all around the world with you. Well, thank you very much, Rod. This little touch means a lot to us. We really appreciate this. Thank you very much. Right, let's jump straight in to the next bit. There's a little bit about it that came with that. Shows you everything you need to know. Boom, boom, boom. That's a really nice touch, that road. Thank you very much. Right. Time for the baby. The monster. This feels ace. This feels great. Look at that. Fantastic, eh? Your obvious clamp. So we can get that all sorted. Get that onto the desk. Looking super clean. But yeah, I'm going to get this all sorted. I'm gonna get it attached with the NT-USB and we'll come back and see how it is. So just to let you know guys, when you are using the NT-USB Mini, you have to take out the little magnet bit in order to connect it to said mount. So let's do that now. Right, so as you can see there guys, we have it now attached. There we have the road, the arm and everything looking very, very slick. That'll come up if you're streaming, gaming, whatever. The arm will come in, it'll look great, you can talk. You can stream, you can mic, you can talk to your friends, whatever. Fantastic. It fits really well, if you can see. They've got really, really nice bit of mesh there. Keeps it all nice and smooth. You've got your wiring where you can just connect it down here, which we will use to connect and have it wired down here so you can see there's cable management that keeps it hidden. But what we're just gonna do is now, guys, to test the NT-USB Mini, we're gonna head over to Mr. Ice Day, AKA Cal, and get his input on how the NT-USB works. But other than that, guys, make sure you check out Rode. Fantastic is this. Check out Rode, check out all that stuff down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Now stay tuned for Cal, where he'll go in depth with the NT-USB Mini. Peace. Cheers, Sawyer, for the handover. Um, I have got the mic here. The Rode mic looks really nice. The NT-USB Mini looks really, really nice. It's got the magnetic stand, as you can see right there. And we're gonna get this plugged in and see how it is. Because, I mean, the mic on here at the moment is really bad. I mean, you've probably seen from past videos that my mic isn't the best. So we're gonna see what this little bit of an upgrade does once we've plugged it all in and got it working. So let's pop off and do that so there we go guys it's all installed now it is on the microphone arm and you probably hear me moving it about right there um the quality is miles better than the last one as you can probably tell from what you're hearing right now it is on the arm and it's going to live right next to me about about here like this sort of area you can't really see that but it's like going to be about 
in this area and you should be able to hear me a lot better. I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal from road. To say I had my old mic and it was a, a finite one uh, on the same arm, it had a shock mount as well as a uh, little foam thing that goes up the top. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but that was on the top and the quality doesn't sound half as good as this. It is absolutely fantastic. I mean, definitely um, I would 100% give this Rode mic, I'd say I'd give it a, I'd give, I'll give it an eight. I mean, the only improvement I'd say that they could do is to make like the actual, you see the, Pivot it that like the actual uh, holster, the pivoting holster. It could be a little bit bigger on the other side. I mean, I know it is a mini and it is to look sleek, but I mean, like just make it stick out a little bit more. So you could put one of the foam things over the top of it, or so you could actually connect a, a pop filter as well that would clip onto it. I mean, they probably already do one that works with it. I mean, that I haven't actually seen yet, but I mean, they're the only improvements that I think that it could possibly do, but definitely a very, very strong eight, nearly bridging into a nine. Absolutely fantastic from Rode. So if you're interested in getting yourself a Rode mic, you can get in the description down below. There'll be all their socials as well as all of ours. If you want to subscribe to the Gamer Guide YouTube channel and to read the magazine, to also follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and all of our socials will be down below, as well as being able to stay tuned for the next video. But I've been I Stay, uh, you previously saw Sawyer, and peace, we'll see you next time. Thank you.